back to another Coe's Daily Brew. Today we're going to be sitting and chatting about making a summer bucket list because I haven't done that yet and we are officially dipped into July so there's a few things I definitely want to do before we get too far or too close I guess into the fall time. Fall is my favorite so I feel like I usually started a little earlier than usual and because I tend to film Utober pretty early too I feel like sometimes summer goes away very quickly so in terms of just like trying to make the most out of the summer and just do the most I guess this summer I want to make a little summer bucket list and I figured if I was gonna sit down and make one why not film it and do it with you guys because whether you end up doing this summer bucket list or not it might just get us all like infused and excited and inspired by summer activities. I feel like I should have grabbed my phone for this because realistically Pinterest would probably be the best way I would say to gather ideas but let's see how far we can make it without Pinterest. I'm gonna use my journal it's just plain lined pages and uh, normally I would use my bullet journal for this but it's in my work bag and I'm just too lazy to get it so I'm gonna take a good sip. I even picked the most summery pen I could think of for my bullet journal or my journal journal. We're using like a watermelon pink and we're gonna do all the summer 2019 bucket list things. Every year I say I'm gonna do this like crazy summer bucket list. I make it like 25 things long and then I never really get around to all of it. So I feel like today if there's anything I'm gonna make sure that I do, I'm gonna try and keep it under 10 things. Especially too because it is already July. I feel like trying to squish more than like 10 things into a month and a half like August and the other half of July would be just way too much you know I don't want to stress myself out the whole point of this is to just do fun summer activities and plus I feel like considering summer I feel like with Vegas and everything starting in May I feel like I got an earlier start to summer so there's some things I already done you know but anyways um, I'm starting by putting summer 2019 at the top maybe I'll write bucket list underneath I should have grabbed a second color but when I think of summer, in terms of fun things to do, I feel like one of my favorite things to do is to go to the drive-in. I recently went to the movies twice. When Arthur was here, we went and saw Aladdin, and then we also saw um, Toy Story 4, and I was actually like, I was very pleased with both of those. It sucks because I feel like I almost kind of wish we went and saw Toy Story 4 in the drive-in, but we didn't, and so for that reason, I'm gonna put number one on the list as going to the drive-in. I don't know if you guys were watching my channel last year, but I took Bentley on a little just like puppy mama date to the drive-in last year. So like even if I have to do that again, I'll do it, that's fine. So far so good, nine more things. Another thing that I've noticed lately that I've been feeling really called to I guess is uh, I've been really itching at the idea of getting another tattoo. Now there are a couple places in Toronto that you can go and get temporary tattoos that only last a few weeks and maybe if I can't think of anything that's like really exactly what I want I guess maybe I'll do that instead but I'm gonna write get a tattoo down just in case something does like Anytime I've gotten a tattoo, it's always kind of like stumbled upon me. It's always been just like right place, right time, right idea, and then I go and get it and I have zero regrets, maybe except for one. Um, so I'm gonna put get a tattoo, and if any situation comes along where I'm in that kind of predicament and something pops into my head, I'm gonna do one of them. I have a few ideas, I'm not fully committed, so it needs to just be like the fusion of right place, right time, you know? What else do I wanna do this summer? I wanna go on a road trip. Actually, I am going on a road trip. I'm going on a road trip this weekend with my siblings. I'm picking up my brother on the way and we're gonna go to Ottawa to hang out with my sister. So I guess in a weird way, I'm putting this one down with a very close road trip in sight. But even just like a top off the Jeep road trip, I feel like that could be really fun. And I haven't done that yet this year. So what else is there to do? Okay, I don't know if this would be considered part of a summer bucket list because it happens in September, but maybe it's like a good way to end the summer. I'm gonna hold this one for number 10. Ooh, have a picnic. I feel like that's something that could actually be so easy, even though it sounds so complicated, to just pack up a lunch, grab a blanket, grab Bentley, and just literally go have a picnic somewhere, grab Larissa. I'm definitely gonna need to have a picnic. We are almost halfway through. Oh, number five, I've got a really good one. Okay, am I allowed to put things down that I've already done? Did we discuss this? Because I feel like there's something that I have to do every summer and I kind of like just did it. So I feel like it counts and we're gonna put it on the list and that's my justification. It's to make a summer bucket, not a bucket list. Obviously to make a summer bucket list, to make a summer playlist. I've been putting out playlists every single like Monday pretty much for like at least since the beginning of 2019. Careful. 
Okay, so I recently just put out a summer playlist, this summer playlist in particular that I'm talking about. It's called Summer 2019. I'll link it down below, but it's kind of more of like an upbeat summery playlist. I have other ones too that like Sundays, are you all right? Like Sundays of Summer, which is kind of more of a chill summer playlist. And then I also have Sunset Stretch, which is like a summer like yoga playlist. So I'll link all of them down below. But I feel like that's one of those every year things that I have to do. We are halfway through folks. Technically more because I already know what number 10 is going to be, but speaking of number six, one thing that I haven't done in a few years, I know I want to do it this fall too, but one thing I literally haven't done or gone to, I guess, in a really long time is Canada's Wonderland. And that is one of those things, like I am a big roller coaster freak. I'm hit and miss with roller coasters. There's certain ones that I definitely wouldn't go on, like ones where you have to lie down, but I love a good like high, tall roller coaster, like the behemoth that they have there and like a couple other ones. And I haven't been in, I don't even think I've been to Canada's Wonderland since I moved to Toronto. So I'm gonna put, go to Canada's Wonderland on here. Cause I feel like that would actually just be so fun. Patio hop. I feel like that's also one of those things that is super fun to do. Again, it's one of those things that sounds really complicated but it's actually really easy to just put on a really nice, like cute summer patio outfit and then go just taste the sangrias at a bunch of different patios with friends and rate the sangrias. You get apps and tapas along the way. And I feel like, again, Toronto is a perfect place to do that because we have so many nice patios. If you guys are ever visiting Toronto, I feel like I should recommend a few. What are a few good ones that we've been to already? We just tried out the regulars patio the other day. That one was pretty cool. Um, the fresh patio on Crawford, also really nice. Cost patio, can't beat the view. Amsterdam brew house patio. There's a lot of good patios in Toronto. So I'm gonna put patio hop. We only have three things left. What else could we do before the summer is over? You know what, one thing that I just wanna do in general, and I'm gonna put it on the summer bucket list because it is something I wanna do before the summer is over. I wanna try out a new yoga studio around just like Toronto in general. I feel like I've been, I used to go to this other yoga studio. I stopped going there when I moved and then I feel like I haven't been to a good like new place in a while. I wanna like push myself to try somewhere new. So I'm gonna put, go to a new yoga class. And also that's just something completely outside my comfort zone and it's like health and wellness based, so I like it. Every year I wanna put skydiving on and that just doesn't happen, so I'm not doing it this year. I'm not gonna make that mistake. I'm giving in to the Pinterest gods. What is Pinterest saying we should do this summer? That's what I wanna know. You know what guys, I'm also gonna force myself to make a graphic of our bucket list at the end of this and I will post it to Coves. Okay, we've got a lot of ideas here, here we go. Ooh, go on a hike, that could be really nice. Actually, that would be really fun. Go skydiving, go on a road trip, music festival, time capsule. Take a belly dancing class, that's actually really funny. Another funny story, every time I, since I've moved to Toronto, there's been this like pamphlet everywhere that's followed me and it's like bright yellow and every time I see it, I always rip off one of like the number things and it's to try a tango class. And again, just the other day, I was running and I saw it again, so I ripped it off again. So that's one of those things that I think I'm gonna try and do in the fall push myself outside my comfort zone to try a tango class. But instead, I think for number nine, I'm gonna take, what was it? Go hiking. I wanna take Bentley on a good old like couple hour hike. And again, that's one of those things that there's a couple cool places to do that outside of Toronto, but just in general, wherever you're living, I'm sure if you just like Google your city and put hiking trails, there's usually places around most, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but I would assume most places have places you can go hiking. And then last but not least, the 10th thing that I held on to earlier is at the end of every summer here in Toronto, they do this thing called the X. It's basically just like this massive carnival. There's really good like carnival treats, carnival rides, games, and all that good stuff. And again, I feel like that's just like a really fun way to end the summer. Um, so I'm gonna put go to a carnival, which is completely different than Canada's Wonderland because Canada's Wonderland is like an amusement park. So boom, 10 things. So our summer bucket list is as follows. Go to the drive-in, get a tattoo, go on a road trip, have a picnic with sangria and hummus platter. Um, summer playlist 2019, Canada's Wonderland, AKA amusement park, patio hop with brunch pants, try a new yoga class, go on a hike, and go to a carnival. And like I mentioned, I will put all of that into a little graphic and put it up on Coz if you guys wanna do with the summer bucket list with me. Or if you guys end up making your own, be sure to send it to me because I want to see. Aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me this morning. Thank you for helping me make my summer bucket list. And if you guys want to catch up or just see if I do all the things on this bucket list, if anything, I'd probably post it to socials like Instagram and Twitter. So I'll pop those down below too if you guys want to check those out. Aside from that, I'll talk to all of you guys tomorrow morning. Bye guys.